Grazie. Hello everybody, welcome back to Decap News. I'm Alex. I'm sick. Uh, today we're doing the month of June. Month the of month June. of June, the news stuff. Yeah. Alright, hey. let's jump into it. <laughs> the first big news of the month is that Instagram has unveiled a new video streaming platform to rival YouTube. Wow! This platform is advertised as Instagram's answer to long form vertical video content, with creators being able to post anything from 10 seconds to 10 minutes as long as it's vertical. That's because that's how it's going to be shown. Videos play full screen and there's no wasted space. But this is something I'm sure everybody has been asking for. That's a little debatable, Josh. But it's definitely something that I'm surprised didn't come out sooner. But I guess only time will tell, Josh. Yeah, why don't we think of this sooner? I, I wish we did. Yeah, and then we could be the millionaires that could have gotten this platform. Yeah, <laughs> like call it decaf. Decaf TV. Decaf TV. <laughs> Personally, I'm a big cinephile, so vertical video completely astounds me, actually. But I guess we're going to have to go on it. We actually posted a video on there already. Um, if you want to follow us on IGTV, the link will be down below here. Our Instagram is at decafphotog. Yeah. Um, a lot of behind the scenes stuff, won't we? Yeah, know. yeah. Uh, nice stories, know. nice pickies that, from, our, from our shoots and stuff. Yeah. So, Alright, so our next bit of news is something that we uh, posted about six months ago. It's related to that. Uh, it's along the lines of digitized film. Now, Josh, can you think of anything along those lines that kind of fits that? Fujifilm film simulations? Ah, uh, like, no. no. Ah, well, it's Digifilm. Digifilm? You know, you know, oh, remember Yoshika? yeah. You remember Yoshika? Yashika. According to the Japanese camera brand. Yeah, exactly. So according to a recent update, Yoshika has entered the tooling stage. I don't know what that means. They've also released pictures of a work-like, look-like prototype of the camera. I also don't know what that means. From these images, we've got to say that the camera really doesn't look that bad, Alex. No. No. I mean, at first glance. They've also released a promo video with a guy shooting the camera on the street, showcasing all of the Digifilm. Look in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Yeah, um, it has a nice like video quality that the other one did. Yeah, very nice, very nice looking. Very really like the vibe they're trying to go for. I guess I can say that we're both not a huge fan of the look of the images. A lot of chromatic aberration and basically all stuff that you can get with filters. Personally, in my opinion, the grungy look looks a little bit too forced. You've got to keep in mind, Alex. They've also stated that they're not actually satisfied with the photos in this video at this stage, and they're trying to make it their mission to make it better. So I guess that's good. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I don't know how much they're going to change from what they got now. Like they, they, maybe they're saying that because they've received some criticism. Because you know, so many people have invested in this, and yeah. like it's already backdated. So you know, what people want to see is that really high quality stuff. Yeah. You know, as I said before, the estimated delivery date was like April or May. Yeah, officially. May? Yeah, yeah, officially stated it like May or April. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 2018 this year. And it seems with it being July now, they've missed their mark. Yeah, but usually a lot of independently funded projects, although Yashka is quite a big company, they still meet a lot of delays. Um, I guess this project is really no exception. Yeah. From what they've said, it seems they've hit some snags, getting things to work mechanically and with, you know, trying to perfect the design. They've had to make it bigger, so yeah, obviously their first initial assumptions or measurements just didn't work out, so they haven't to fix a few things. We're both pretty hopeful for this project. Yeah, we? like I actually do want to see what they come up with in yeah. the end, because what we're seeing, they're saying that the images we're seeing now aren't what the yeah, final I thing th I be. feel like they're they're pretty close to what they're going to be. Usually, um, usually when they release something, it's pretty close to the end. Like we really hope that it does well. Um, it really sets a really nice precedent to try new things in the photography market. Yeah. We really hope that it does find its market. I think we're just not yet. But yeah, we're not the market. You know, fingers crossed, and hopefully, smooth sailing them mm. going forward and then we'll probably see it out in August, fingers crossed. Okay. Uh, to be honest though, uh, it would be interesting to have seen a new 35mm camera be brought out. You know, that would have set the market on fire. But it's actually funny that you talk about 35mm film, Alex. There's a company named Lab has recently launched a Kickstarter for an instant back for a 135 SLR and rangefinder cameras. To be honest, it's one of the more exciting Kickstarters that I've seen in a long, in a long time. Um, it's pretty cool. The product in question right now is Instant Magni 35, and apparently it requires no major modifications to your current SLR. 
although you will need to remove the original camera back. They do mention, however, that not every lens slash camera combination has been tested, which I'm not I'm not really expecting them to. Yeah, it doesn't, it, <laughs> it's pretty it crazy. doesn't make sense to do that to every camera. But they do list the uh, cameras that are compatible with this instant Magni 35. That's quite a big list, and I think most of the Leicas are on there as well. Yeah, cash into that Leica. Oh, money, money. money. The film bag will use Fuji Instax square film. It's great for accessibility because, you know, that's the cheapest and, you know, most popular instant. Instant? Instant. Instant. Yeah. instant. <laughs> um, the that's film... the most popular <laughs> instant thing. <laughs> Overall, I think it's a really cool project and it's a need in the market where, you know, current instances fail to offer sufficient focusing. Like the Fuji Instax, that's just a point and shoot. You can't focus on that. The lens is just so much better. You can actually choose the settings for your camera, which is uh, quite different to your usual Polaroid. The product is expected to be delivered in January of 2019. The Canon copy that we saw... Yeah, it'd be, it'd be about 214 Australian dollars. 214 Australian dollars. At the current, uh, the current, uh, uh, current exchange rates. There you go. <laughs> Personally, I, I don't, don't think, think it's I, worth it. I don't think it's worth it right because now. Because my Polaroid camera only cost me 100 okay, bucks or 80 bucks. bucks. Yeah. I don't know. I really think it's a good cause and if I would pay that because they need it for manufacturing. Yeah, I guess like keeping instant film alive and paying that two, extra $215, $14, $14 yeah. uh, is great for photography in general. Exactly. Um, yeah. See how it goes. I'll we'll put the link down below mm -hmm. and you know, if you do like that kind of stuff, also, definitely. We're not a sponsor. Hey, but if you want to sponsor us, link down below. <laughs> link down below, hit us up. <laughs> uh, Fujifilm XAU. I'm looking at you boys. This converter is chunky. Something that isn't chunky though, is the quite creative Lego Hasselblad that has been created by Lego builder Helen Sham. Helen Are you Sham. sure this isn't a sham? <laughs> it actually took her two hours. Two hours? <laughs> yeah, it took Whoa. her two hours to make. Dude, right? I, 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 that's yeah. two hours, that's, that's too much time. It was made up, do you know how many pieces were made in there? Uh, Over a thousand. Okay, I was gonna guess about 600. It was a thousand one hundred and twenty pieces. That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, pieces. This is a lot of plastic to make a replica of the Hasselblad 503CX medium format film camera. And she is hoping that one day it becomes part of the official Lego kit. Yeah, how cool would it be if you got a Target and you can buy yourself a little medium format camera that you have to build yourself in at least two hours. With a thousand pieces? With a thousand I pieces. would love to do that and that would be my kind of Lego. It has quite a few features and you can really take some real photos with it, Josh. Wow. So if you weren't expecting that, the features consist of a mirror, film winder, a frame counter, as well as a shutter button, which is probably the most necessary of them all. We'll add the link down below and so all you Lego loving photographers can check it out and obviously show her some support because the more votes she gets, the higher chance that we'll see it in store someday. And maybe we could even do a shoot with it on the channel, Josh. Mm, if this ideas. ever happens, uh huh. Ideas. Photo right shoot down my with the Lego camera. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Okay. Don't show me. <laughs> I don't know what you're writing. Yeah. Lego Hasselblad. So we both think this is a pretty great concept and definitely brings back the nostalgia of playing with Lego as a kid, with the nostalgia of taking photos as an adult. Exactly. <laughs> bit of a, bit of a, bit of a yeah. Ooh. Mix it together. Yeah. Yeah, love this idea. Hope it goes all the way as as well as the DJ film. Yeah. yeah. Same. So yeah. and the and the Instax. So, Everyone's trying to burst into that market this yeah. this month. Yeah, it's good. And like I was actually just gonna say, do you think it's been a boring month? I think it's been quite slow. Yeah, it's been it's been a little bit of a slow month. It's been a slow month. <laughs> anyway, if you did like the vid, this is the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, give us a like, uh, hit that bell button down below. To be notified of Get all those our notifications our, of yeah, all of our videos. All of our videos. Because you know we have so many good ones. Yeah. yeah. And uh, stay tuned for our new videos coming soon. Yeah. And stay warm. Stay not sick. Stay not sick. Don't hang around or film videos with this guy. Don't do drugs. Stay in school. Because he's gonna get me sick. Uh, catcher. 